Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. Inside this box, we have a smartwatch. And it's been like a month since we've talked about ECG plus PPG. That's heart wave information, uh, blood pressure and pulse and your actual cardiographic heart wave. We've seen some reviews on these, especially something uh, called the New Wear Q13. That was a really nice square watch. Looked a lot like this one. In fact, I have it right here in gold. Yeah. Why am I showing you this one? <clears throat> Upside down. Because basically it's the same watch from the actual uh, supplier of these watches, which is Run Doing. We want to give you multiple buying choices and multiple colors to take a look at. So Run Doing forwarded out one of their um, Run Doing Q13s, which, here we get into some math, used to be called the Q3 Advanced which was confusing from the original Q3, which didn't have the ECG capability, so they renamed it the Q13, but it's also the new wear Q13. So anyway, same thing, just look for Q13. In the buying uh, link down below in the show notes, you should be able to get a discount on that. And here's a little picture of what's going on with the accurate ECG analysis. Now, like I said, we've reviewed this as the new wear Q13. So I'm going to send you over to that review primarily to go through all of the different aspects of this watch. But uh, spec-wise, this is what we've got inside of it. It's a waterproof IP67. It does heart rate and blood pressure and ECG heart wave, which really isn't talked about in the specs, but is actually the highlight of what this watch can do. Um, yeah. 240 by 240 screen and um, okay size battery. Basically, it's a, a well-designed device that can acquire your biometric information that can present it to you on the screen and can tether it over to an app on your phone. And from there, you could actually send it out via email attachment to your doctor or archive it or whatever you'd like to do. In the box, you get a charging connector for it, which is your standard two pin charger that goes on the bottom. You've seen those and a manual. So let's walk through the manual because sometimes you'll see some things in here you haven't seen before or that I've skipped over. The, um, the QR code is here. I'll get you zoomed in on that. You can uh, scan it and download the app through that process, or you can simply go to the show notes and I'll have a link directly over um, to the Play Store where you can download the Wear Heart, Wear Heart app. There's also several other ones similar to Wear Heart. This is one of those rare opportunities where you can use maybe four or five different apps. They'll all tether to this watch and they pretty much do the same thing. They just have a bit of a different interface overall. And um, it's just your choice which one you like the best and how it presents the data. Uh, but they're, um, they're good apps and it's a good technology that we're seeing evolving that acquires the ECG signal directly from two electrodes on the bottom and then the case on the side. Here's a look at the screens. You have your basic time, step count, calories burned and distance traveled, all of that combined together. Then your heart rate using the PPG green diode on the back and your blood pressure also derived from PPG. Your ECG where you'll squeeze the side and get your chart and your blood pressure from the ECG plus PPG. Sleep time, messages if you have any waiting for you, and then the overall sports section you get into with a long press. You can do running, walking, climbing, riding, and of course it's a waterproof watch, so swimming, ping pong, basketball, badminton, football, and then you've looped back to sports. Any of those you would long press and you'd be able to activate it. You've got a stopwatch, find your phone, and the overall shutdown, you press and hold, and it'll actually physically turn it off, gives you the choice of yes or no, and long press on that, and it'll activate what you choose. These two 
electrodes touch your arm. So you want moisture on your arm in that spot. And then the case itself creates the third electrode and you have to touch it with your opposite uh, hand so that you're creating a circuit through your heart, up one arm, through your heart, and down the other. Works that way on both of them. Just to show you on here, you get over to oh, the blood pressure. Let's go around again. Isn't this beautiful? The colorful screen is the same on both of them. So just check that out. There's heart rate and there's uh, blood pressure. And there's ECG. So we press and hold. Oh, I'm licking my arm right now. Now I put that on here and I'm holding on the side. You see, I don't even have to put the strap on if I don't want to. And what you're getting, oh, it's a little noisy, is getting that heart wave, if I get real quiet, that little bumping up and down is your systolic and diastolic pulsing, you know. Of, uh, it's the electrical signal, literally, of what's going on in your heart. It said two app. So you strap this thing and connect it to the phone. You'll see that in the other review. And you can transfer that uh, heart wave data right over to, um, to your phone and take a look at it there. So there you go. We have the uh, Run Doing Q13. It comes in a variety of colors. Um, this is the black leather bland and black body on here. Um, this is the new wear Q13. It comes in gold uh, with this kind of a brown uh, band and you can get different colors on both sites. Uh, so check them out. Again, check the show notes down below for the buying links and check the review of the new wear Q13 to get an idea of all of the functions that this thing can do. You've been watching Smartwatch Ticks. A reminder, you can get to us easily by tapping in smartwatchticks.com and that'll take you right to our YouTube page. Got lots more coming, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching.